Gold-minded records, they're not your friends. What up, it's Clive Craven. I'm back again with another horror film discussion. This time, something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Everybody has something to say about this. I'm hoping to hear something from you guys this time. Um, so let's talk about it. And that is prequels, sequels, and remakes. That's right, the unholy trinity. Um, people like them, like people hate them. They either really like them or really hate them. Um, there is no in-between. There's no, usually they're just okay. Either you like them or you don't. Me personally, I'm huge into them. More so sequels uh, and prequels rather than remakes. But I do enjoy a good remake. So, let's talk about it. First off, you've got prequels. Prequels are great because they kind of give you a background story and really open up the synopsis of a tale, especially in a franchise type film. And what I mean by that, perfect examples, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Um, I believe the new Thing movie that came out as a prequel. Um, a lot of these movies kind of just, you know, delve you into the story before it even happens and kind of teach you the mythos of it. So to me, those are very important films. Uh, Prometheus is another one that I didn't even realize was an alien um, prequel until I actually sat down and saw the ending of it. Um, nobody had warned me in advance that it had anything to do with the um, Alien movies other than knowing that Ridley Scott uh, put the film together. But yeah, basically a prequel kind of brings you into that world and kind of explains how things formulate. And to me that's great. A prequel can really be good. But there's also prequels that haven't been so great. Um, there's none that come to my mind right now, but I know I've seen some in the past that just didn't do it for me. If I sat down and made a list, I could probably think of a few. Um, but moving on, the next thing, sequels. Sequels can be amazing. I love sequels to films. There's a lot of films that end up getting too many sequels, though. What are some of those? Friday the 13th, Halloween, Hellraiser, Puppet Master, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Some of these films have 9, 10, 11 sequels, even more. But there's certain ones that have been able to maintain their freshness to the franchise. One of the only few that I really like, pretty much through and through, minus only two from the whole franchise, is Friday the 13th. One of the best franchises in my opinion. Um, but sequels can be very hit or miss. There's other film franchises that are shorter that are great. Perfect example, the Creepshow franchise. Three films. The original was amazing. The second one, the sequel, amazing. The third one, the sequel, garbage. That's how it happens sometimes. They can be good, they can be great. They can be terrible, they can be meh, you know, decent at best, but they're always something new to bring to the table. Even if you don't enjoy it, you gotta at least respect a sequel, unless it's a complete, utter piece of shit. There's some that are just so bad that you can't even give the respect of, hey, it's just a sequel of this film franchise, we already know what it's about, but we respect it for what it is. So, that pretty much wraps up what I feel about sequels. I love sequels, personally. Um, probably my favorite out of the three between prequels, sequels, and um, remakes is probably sequels. Just because I enjoy seeing a story continue along and seeing something chug along for so long. It's great when you can see it go along for so long, but um, they can also deteriorate over time. One of my favorite franchises that's actually stuck out, in my opinion, you know, through all of its uh, sequels, which has been great for me, is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love the first four, I love the remake, I love the sixth one, the beginning, and you know, the new one didn't do it for me, but it wasn't completely, complete fucking shit. Um, it, had its, it had its moments, but um, by far the worst one out of the seven for me. But still, that just goes to show, you know, franchises can do amazing over time. That franchise was started in the early 70s, it has plowed its way all the way to now, um, making it, you know, one of the greatest franchises of all time, in my honest opinion. But that brings us to the last thing, remakes. Texas Chainsaw had a remake. Friday the 13th, Halloween, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Maniac, Evil Dead, Mother's Day. There's so many movies that have seen remakes. I mean, a lot of them. I couldn't even sit here and name all of them, but there's a ton of them. But there's a lot that are hit and miss with people. There's some remakes that I've seen that I thought were amazing, but then there's also other ones that were complete shit. Let's look at the spectrum. Ones were complete shit, one that I know is complete fucking garbage, and people hate the film, rightfully so, Prom Night. What a fucking shit remake from a shitty kind of 80s slasher film. Even the original wasn't that great, but the remake, pretty bad. 
And on top of that, then you have things like April Fool's Day. Another one that had a great original, but a terrible fucking remake. Some of these films just, I don't know. They, they have their ups and they have their downs with remakes. Those are some of the bad ones, but then you have great ones. For me, the Hills Have Eyes remake was amazing, even better than the original. Friday the 13th remake, I actually enjoyed that one. Texas Chainsaw remake, Night of the Living Dead remake. There's actually a lot of great ones. The Thing from John Carpenter, one of the most famous remakes of all time. So it could be nailed with a remake out of the park, and it could also fall flat on its fucking face. End of the day, it comes down to preference, what you enjoy and what you like. Me personally, I enjoy all three. Out of the three, prequels, sequels, and remakes, for me, it's probably sequels being my favorite, um, and then prequels, and then remakes. Remakes being my least favorite. But I enjoy them all. And if they're done right, they can be highly enjoyable. If they're done wrong, fuck it. You know, there's always the original to reflect on. The legacy isn't tarnished, in my opinion. But you got to look at it like this. There's going to be people that love love these things and they hate these things. People that love the remakes and the prequels and sequels and ones that hate them. So you have to look at it objectively. But in my personal opinion, um, I highly enjoy all three. Curious to see what you guys think. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on prequels, sequels, and remakes. Feel free to leave a uh, response video to this. Leave a comment down below in the box. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Peace.